guys and welcome back to Oak Style. If you're new here, my name's Oakley and today I'm going to be sharing with you everything I've hit pan on. So let's get into this video. repurchases so many times and it's from Urban Decay and it's their single eyeshadow in Sin. I just love this shade for underneath the brow bone and speaking about underneath your brow bone these other two shades from Colourpop they're super shock shadows I also like for that and this one is in Flexitarian And the other one is Lunch Money. I've used a lot of this shade. A blush that I think is a big dupe for those that like that really pink, bright blush that everybody seems to be wanting. And it's from Pacifica and it's their shade Blushed. is an old product but I still keep using it because I just love it so much and it's from Becca it's champagne pop you can see how much pan I've used of that and it actually has, still has the little plastic piece that says Becca and Jaclyn Hill a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I have hit pan on from Colourpop the first one is the Lizzie McGuire What Dreams Are Made Of palette. I actually like this palette so much that I actually repurchased another one just so I have a backup of this palette. I really like the Outfit Repeater shade as you can tell because it's used completely up. The next palette from Colourpop is the Color Pop Crush Blush Eyeshadow Palette. A palette that I have really been gravitating towards, especially this month, is the BH Smitten in Switzerland Palette. I just love this palette and I'm super sad that BH Cosmetics is no more and I can't repurchase this palette because it's so nice. And it has such a nice range of cool tone and a few warm tone shades in here as well, which I really enjoy using. You can see how much I've used out of these shades. A palette that I reviewed last fall and have been using a lot here recently is the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. I've used a lot of shades out of this as you can tell a lot of pan in there and when da downsizing my collection I like to combine a lot of my Colourpop eyeshadows that I've reviewed in the past and put them in a Z palette and I wanted to show you the shadows that I have hit pan on in here as well Another eyeshadow palette that is discontinued, but I still use it a lot, is the Naked Urban Decay, the original palette. Another palette that I've used a lot out of is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. And last but not least, the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette. I've used a ton out of this as well. So I think with that, that's all I have for you guys today. So much to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Bye guys!